Yo guys, welcome to the channel. For my first video, I thought I'd take you through some of my favourite pickups of 2022 and also some of my favourite releases from this year as well. Starting off with my favourite pickup of 2022. I'm sure most of you know what box this is and what pair comes inside this box. And this is a pair that I've wanted for a very, very long time since they came out in 2018. I think that they are just personally one of the best Jordan ones of all time. They're one of the cleanest colourways, one of the most iconic colourways. And I think they've really stood the test of time. That is, of course, the Union Jordan 1, the black toe colorway. These are definitely my favorite of the two. The Royal colorway is also an amazing pair, but I think that these are just a lot more wearable and sort of the iconic black and red is just, yeah, it's just definitely the best colorway for me. I'm very, very happy to finally have these in the collection. They're not a pair that I've worn as much as I wanted to this year. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna try and get a lot more wear out of them next year and um, probably when the weather's a lot nicer uh, than it is now. Um, but yeah, these are definitely my favourite pickup of 2022. Moving on to my second favourite pickup of 2022 and another very recognisable box. I'm sure a lot of you also know what's inside this. These are the Off-White Jordan 5s, the black colourway. Um, definitely the better of the two in my opinion. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of the cream to be honest and it seems that they ruin really, really easily. These are also a pair that I've been after for a very long time and I was really lucky to actually be able to pick these up for a steel used. I've managed to get a lot of wear out of these so far. Um, I actually think they're a really good winter shoe in my opinion. The um, the upper is this material that's just very easy to clean. Um, it's quite easy to sort of just batter and I think that these look really, really good worn. I actually think these are a really slept on pair back when they first came out um, and I think people have started to realise that they're actually an incredible pair. I haven't cut any of the uh, little circles out. I definitely think they look better with them still in place um, and not something I'll be doing any time in the future. Um, but yeah, these are going to be a heavy rotational pair coming up in the next year. Definitely going to get a lot, a lot of wear out of these. So my third favourite pickup of the year is a, actually a New Balance pair. These are one of my favourite New Balances that are released in the recent sort of year or so. Um, they're an incredible pair and New Balance are having an amazing time at the moment. They've had some absolutely incredible releases recently with all the sort of the Teddy Santos pairs, um, lots of amazing collabs with people like Joe Fresh Goods. Yeah, just an amazing time at the moment. The pair is of course the protection packs, um, the 2002R ones. Um, yeah, I think that the grey colourway is definitely the best. Um, I was really lucky to actually pick these up for a really good price used as well. At one point these shot up to sort of like four or five hundred pounds and I thought that they were going to be something that I never ended up buying because I was not going to pay that for them. Um, but yeah, I was happy to pay the price that I did uh, use. They were literally worn like once or twice in really, really good condition. Yeah, as I said, grey is definitely the best of the pack. Um, I actually have a white pair here that I kind of ruined really by trying to dye them purple. Um, they're kind of cool, I guess, but I've just not really worn them since I dyed them because purple is a very difficult colour to wear. The newer protection pack colourways, I think, are also kind of cool, like the blue and the, the pink and things like that. Um, but I, I definitely think that the original three are definitely the best. Um, I'd really like to have the black pair in the rotation as well. Um, I just haven't really looked for a pair, to be honest. But yeah, these are definitely a top two New Balance, and I'm sure... You guys have all seen these lots before, but I think they're just an amazing pair. Moving on to my favorite releases of the year. Um, this year has been an incredible year for sneaker releases. I think one of the best in recent years. There's been some amazing collabs. Um, New Balance have had an amazing year. There's been re-releases of iconic colorways. So yeah, just, just an amazing year. I just wanted to share a few of my favorite releases. Um, I don't have all of them. Um, I'll show you the ones that I do have. Starting off with I think quite an underrated pair actually. These Air Max 95s uh, Anatomy of Airs. I think these are a really interesting colorway. Um, it goes back to sort of like the original design idea of the, of the Air Max 95 with it sort of representing the different layers of the human body you like with the with the um, the waves and things um, and like showing the different layers of like muscle and tissue and things like that. I think these are just really, really cool. I really wanted them when they first came out, but the retail was kind of steep, um, but I was really lucky to actually pick these up on Mr. Porter for 50% off over Black Friday, and I, I couldn't say no to that. Before I get into my top three, I guess, releases of the year, the ones that I personally have, um, 
I guess some honourable mentions would be things like the the reverse mockers, the Travis, Jordan One Lows. Um, I was unlucky enough to get a pair of those, and I don't really fancy paying the the resale prices for them, unfortunately. Um, the Armand Manier is also a really popular pair this year. I think they're going to be in lots of people's top fives, top tens. Um, but again, I didn't get a pair, and I I like them, but I think that. They're nowhere near as good as the threes. I mean, if they'd had the color blocking of the threes, like if the the cream midsole was the um, the upper and the sort of purple upper that they went with was the midsole, I think that would have looked a lot better, sort of more like this. Um, I appreciate they're probably trying to do something a little bit different, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think if I did manage to find a pair for not too expensive, I'd pick them up, something I'd like to have in the collection. But for now, uh it's, it's not something I've got. So number three um, of my favorite pickups of the year. I think you guys know what's in this box as well. Um, I mean, they're, they're an amazing collaboration. The, the whole pack has been great. The, all the different colors from the orange, the blues, uh, the blacks are also really good. Um, I actually think these might be my favorite of the, the six that have come out. These are just so good. They're so clean. Um, I really like what they've done with the materials as well. They're a little bit different to sort of the other pairs, not the suede. Um, yeah, they're just an amazing pair. Um, I actually only have one other of the six, which is the the orange. Um, I think these two are my favourite. Um, maybe at some point we'll pick up some of the others, but I'm I'm very happy to have these two in the collection for the meantime. Um, yeah, amazing shoe. Uh, amazing collaboration and one that I'm very 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 happy to have. So number two is a bit of a three for one. Um, again New Balance have had an amazing year. Teddy Santis coming across uh, to New Balance from ALD. He's released some absolutely incredible pairs this year and I think especially the 990 V3. Um, I had a pair of 990 V3s uh, last year, the Levi's collab. I haven't worn them that much but they're a really comfortable shoe and I do enjoy putting them on whenever I get the chance but this year, the three New Balance 990 V3s that I picked up, I, I can't really pick which one to show you guys for sort of my fav my second favourite pick of the year. Um, so I'm just going to sort of do a three for one and they're all going to be number two. Um, yeah, I mean, these were the first ones I picked up, the greys. These are just an amazing pair. I love them. The grey suede is so good with sort of like the brown and the green colorway. Yeah, these, these are really, really nice. Um, these ones are the next ones I picked up. Uh, I was actually really lucky to pick these two pairs up for retail off the New Balance website. I mean, that's something that doesn't really happen that often now in 2022 with shoes and sort of how popular everything is. Um, it was kind of nice to just go on the website, pick them up um, for retail and just get them sent. Um, I actually managed to pick these up for under retail. They went into the sale on Black Friday. Uh, these are the latest pair that I picked up, the, the Moonbeams. These are really, really nice. Um, I, I just don't think I could tell you which is my favorite of the three. Um, the, the white's actually kind of nice because of the leather. I think they're a bit more wearable because um, there's a lot of suede on these ones, which I think could kind of ruin quite easily. But yeah, no, I'm a, a real big fan of these. And I'm really looking forward to sort of what Teddy's got to come in in 2023. Um, I've seen some of the 990 V3s that have sort of coming out or have been leaked to come out. And I think some of those might be getting added to the collection at some point. My number one pair for this year, um, I think you guys know what they are. I know it's a bit of a cop out of an answer, but just the impact this shoe had this year um, with the, the reimagined colorway. Some people loved it, some people hated it. Um, yeah, I mean, the. 500,000 pairs, a million pairs, whatever you want to say, came out and still having a resale value and still being very difficult to actually get a pair. Yeah, I think these are just amazing. I unfortunately had to pay resale for mines. I was unlucky in all of the raffles that I entered, but yeah, I'm very, very glad to have these in the collection. And I think that at some point I may be buying another pair just to sort of keep um, dead stock and to, to wear when I beat these to death because that's the plan with these. I'm, I'm gonna really really wear these. Yeah I've never picked up any of the other Chicago colorways in the past. Um, red is actually not something that I have in my collection much. Um, I think these and the the unions are probably the only red pairs I actually own. Um, it's, yeah it's not a color I really wear that often. 
but these are a really really good pair um i actually really like the reimagined the sort of 85 styling with the cracked collar for once they're i mean the quality is not awful on them it's probably better than some of the jordan ones that i've had um i picked up the taxis this year but i ended up selling those on because it just wasn't something i could see myself wearing too much i think these are going to be a lot of people's top release of the year um and i think it's quite difficult to say otherwise really i know it's an easy answer but just yeah they're an amazing pair and rightfully deserve to be sneaker of the year in my opinion i saw sort of yesterday or the day before that there was a leak maybe of the reimagined black toes coming out um and I can see that with how popular these are, Nike might end up releasing a bunch of the, the iconic sort of Jordan 1 colorways, like the Royals, the Shadows in this 85 reimagined colorway, um, which, yeah, I'll, I'll be down for. I mean, I actually don't own that many Jordan 1s. I've only got um, the Unions and the Mockers. They're not pairs that I wear that often, but yeah. Uh, a great addition to the collection and I think a lot of people have had these this year um, I've seen people refer to them as the red pandas um, being everywhere but yeah what can you say so yeah that's the end of my first video guys thank you very much for watching if you did um, I hopefully it wasn't too boring and it was something that you might have wanted to see from me please leave some suggestions down in the comments below if of things that you do want to see me do in the future um, I've got a few ideas but getting some some ideas from you guys would be great as well i hope the the sound and video quality isn't too bad um i've tried to pick up a few bits but maybe something i'd look to upgrade in the future if if people are actually interested in these videos um yeah thank you very much guys for watching please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're not already um yeah thanks guys